All right, time for a new Budha downloading and installing tutorial. So this time you should be able to actually read my screen, which is a big improvement from my last one, I know. So anyways, let's just get into it. Use your browser of choice, type in Budhud. It's important to note there's three different places you can download Budhud right now. The main one that should always be there is GitHub, and that's what I'm going to be using. But there's also tf2huds.dev and config.apps. Uh, why, why would someone want to do that? Anyways, my night's ruined. So I'm going to load up GitHub, and I'm going to download Budhud. Now there's two different places you can download it within GitHub. You can either hit the code button and then download zip, or you can use the releases. The differences between them is that, um, I don't know. <laughs> no, I do know. So code is basically the absolute latest that I've committed to the GitHub, whereas releases, I treat more as like a kind of a monthly thing, where like if I decide to work on the HUD for a month, like this one I worked on in October, and then I released it in November. And I'm calling it stable because across that duration of time, I was making a bunch of changes and then I was playing with it and so on. Whereas if you download it from the other place, it might have some bugs or, you know, whatever it might be. But I'm going to download it from here. What you want to do is go down to budhudmaster.zip right here. Just click on that bad boy and save that. Now I'm going to go to where I saved that. Look at that, I'm so prepared. Now is the process of extracting this. If you haven't done this before and you're on Windows, you can just use what Windows has built in, which is, I believe it's extract all. Yeah, so you would do this. It takes a little bit of time this way, but that's fine. I use 7-zip and I can't even move this window over. Oh, I'm pretty quick myself. And anyways, it's extracted now. That's all we had to do. So here's all of our HUD files, and of course, the main HUD folder is Bud HUD Master. So now, what I would like to do, and I did not prepare for this part, we're going to use Steam to find our Team Fortress 2 folder. So what you want to do is go into Steam, go to Games, View Games Library, go down to Team Fortress 2, right-click it, go to Properties, pretend you didn't see my hours, and then go to Installed Files. And the final thing is hit Browse. So the reason we do it this way is that if you have, it basically solves a lot of the confusion of trying to find your folder. And if you have TF2 potentially install multiple drives and you don't know it, um, it avoids just that kind of confusion as well, because it's taking us right to the folder that the game's actually using when it's launched. So anyways, gonna go into TF, and then we're gonna go into our custom folder. Uh, if you don't have a custom folder, it's no big deal. You just create it, new folder, name it custom, you're good to go. So now that we're in our custom folder, we're going to go find our extracted HUD files right over here. And I'm just going to drag this in here. Make sure it's the one that you extracted. You can even delete this compressed one so you don't have to worry about it. So now, I'm going to launch TF2 and see if it worked. I can tell you already that this is a good sign that it's, we're seeing this blue here because that is the background butthud uses until it loads in and then the animated gif is placed over it but yeah that's kind of the gist of it it's actually pretty straightforward and you know, it's one of those things you do it once and then you know how to do it but one thing i will say is there's a lot of customization to butthud and the best place to get help with that is the wiki if we go back to here uh, on the github you click wiki aggressively apparently um if you look on this right side, you can find basically the installation guide, which is this video, but in text form with images and pretty colors. And there's a bunch of other stuff in here. Like I've kind of tried to keep track of what people usually have issues with, and I just put them down. If you can't find it, of course, there's always the, the uh, not GitHub, the Discord that you can go into. That's also linked right here. But as you can see, that these are all the customization options on this right side here. Uh, the big ones tend to be these ones that have the gold stars. So things like the YouTuber and Twitch user HUDs, like Uncle Dane's HUD and so forth. You can find that there. Crosshairs, if you want to use a HUD crosshair, it's right there. Modifying colors goes into 
no detail because it's actually in the file, so this was a bad example, but pretend it was a good wiki article. And yeah. Anyways, I believe that is kind of everything. Uh, if you're having issues, I would recommend checking out this HUD troubleshooting. A common thing people do is... Uh, where is it? They, they basically have two folders within themselves, and this won't work. It's also noted here. Uh, basically what this means is you can't have like Team Fortress 2, TF, Custom, Bud HUD Master, another Bud HUD Master, and then your HUD files. It has to be TF, Custom, your HUD folder with, you know, that's named whatever, and then all the HUD files in it. And you couldn't even see that because I moved it. C's. But anyways, if you have any questions, you can just drop them in the YouTube comments and I, I'll ignore them. Or you can go on the Discord <laughs> and ask me there. I won't ignore the YouTube comments. I do actually usually notice them. But that should be about it. So, yeah. Bye-bye!